Hello, I'm Pastor Joe, and I want to welcome you to this week's Two Minute Tuesdays Together, where I want us to continue our conversation on how we intentionally grow and deepen our faith and our walk with Jesus Christ. You know, as Christians, it is important that we continue to seek to grow in our faith. Accepting Jesus as our Lord and Savior is the first step, but that's not the end. Um, it doesn't mean that we just say, yes, I believe, and therefore we don't have to do anything else. It is a call to a way of life where we continue to nurture and deepen and build our faith our trust and our ability to follow. Um, and that takes discipline. Now, discipline is not a word we really like to talk about today. We associate it with discipline of like when we get in trouble and so then you're being disciplined for it. But discipline is also a way of in our life that we develop practices and habits that guide us and lead us, uh, things that we live by. Uh, and so I want to talk today about, you know, uh, begin this conversation or continue the conversation of how discipline, spiritual disciplines can help us in, in an intentional way to uh, deepen and, and grow our faith in Jesus Christ. And so I want us to, to look today at how we take in uh, the Bible, because I think this is the key to our spiritual growth and all of our other uh, disciplines as well. So let's get two minutes on the clock. And let's go. So out of all of the spiritual disciplines, why would I say the Bible is the most important? Well, one, when I say Bible, uh, it, it, it encompasses um, so many things uh, that we should be doing with it. But the reason I think it is the key to all of the others and the most important thing we can do is that this is where we truly know God. This is where we meet God. This is where we learn about God's character and His will for us. This is where we learn about God, we meet God, and where we start to understand what it means uh, to lead a godly life. Now, I want us to turn to um, 1 Timothy, uh, the fourth chapter, verse 13. I know we're all busy. Uh, life is crazy busy, but it is still important that we make time for this book right here. And here's what Paul says to Timothy. Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture, to preaching, and to teaching. So when I read that Scripture, there's three things that jump out. Reading of Scripture, um, preaching, and teaching. It is important that we set aside time every day to read the Bible. Five minutes. Can you spare five minutes? Read through a chapter a day. Start in, in uh, Matthew, read a chapter a day. Five minutes, ten minutes. Every day you find that. You find time to eat, you find time to rest, you find time to visit with friends make time for this. The other thing is to be about preaching. Be a regular part of worship. To hear God's word read and proclaimed, that is so vital. To gather for worship and to hear the sermon, to hear the preaching, that is so key. But that also goes along with our reading of scripture. It's not a substitute for it. It goes along with it. And the last thing is to be devoted to the teaching. Be studying the Bible. Be a part of a Sunday school group or a Bible study group. We need to be studying with others. So so again, we study and read on our own, we worship and hear preaching, and we're part of a Bible study. So I hope that you have found this helpful. Please take a few minutes to share this video with others. Before you leave, hit like. And don't forget, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel.